Twilight accidentally sets off Sprout's nukes. Really, Discord? You're telling me that this is supposed to be the future? One that has... machines and stuff? Yeah. Since Kickbutt made you promise not to blow stuff up in Equestria within the next few centuries, I found you a way around that little problem. We're not going to blow anything up within the next few centuries. I'm in. Raven, cancel all my appointments for the day. Your Majesty, what? Bye! I understand now. It's not the crystals that need to be brought together. It's us. We can bring back everything that was lost, but it's up to us. We can stay separated by fear and distrust, or we can choose friendship. We can choose love. That's the true magic. Sunny looked back at everyone. Queen Haven stepped forward first, before pushing one side of the picture frame towards the picture, and Sunny smiled. Alpha Biddle stepped forward next, pushing at another side of the frame in, connecting the cracked ends. Finally, Phyllis stepped forward to push the last piece in, making a full frame. All three ponies smiled at Sunny, and Sunny beamed back. It seemed as if everything would be alright. Suddenly, the three crystals broke themselves free of the rubble, before lifting up into the air and spinning around Sunny. As they did so, they started descending into the air, along with the Orange Earth Pony. Whoa! Sunny cried out in surprise. Glowing wings appeared on Sunny's back, and a glowing horn appeared on her head. The three crystals shot up into the sky, before joining together and shooting a blast of light up into the sky, creating an aurora. Everyone cheered, and shouts of surprise could be heard as Pegasi lifted up into the air. We're actually flying! Pip exclaimed as she flapped her wings. Every pony stopped their celebrations and wild flying maneuvers when Sunny began to be lifted up by the recently returned magic. Up higher and higher, the shining light carried her, growing brighter, ever brighter. And then, at the highest point yet above even the former height of her lighthouse, Sunny raised her head and, in a great release of light, she exploded. Booyah! A booming voice exclaimed. Take that, mysterious Alicorn! That's your introduction to Alicornhood! Discord, what the fuck? A female voice shouted from behind the group. You do not just blow any Alicorn up! That's not even- Sunny dropped out of the sky, steaming and smoking. Oops, the voice said, as a weird creature popped into existence and snapped his fingers. A mattress appeared below Sunny, and she fell onto it. And quick fix. The weird creature snapped his fingers again, and Sunny's coat was no longer blackened, back to its usual orange hue. The mare groaned and lifted up her head weakly. What hit me? Sunny muttered. I did, the weird creature replied gleefully. Also, what have you ponies been doing the past few centuries? I couldn't even access this plane of time until this certain period. Where did all the magic go? Discord. A lavender alicorn landed on the ground. Apologize. Oh, fine. The creature named Discord huffed before looking at Sunny. I'm sorry, he said, not sincerely. But you'll be fine. Alicorns are made out of tough things. Those are magical constructs, Discord. The alicorn chastised. She's not an actual alicorn. Who are you two? Izzy grinned and asked. Yes, boom, bang, popped, appeared out of nowhere. You're not mad at us? The lavender alicorn blinked. Well, you did blow Sunny up. Izzy shrugged. But you fixed her, so I guess that's all good. I'm fine, thanks for asking. Sunny muttered, her face buried in the mattress. Name stars. The alicorn winked. Just a quick visit for me, and just a quick question. Where did that giant machine of doom come from? From the Canterlogic Factory? Sprout said proudly. I made it. I see. The alicorn nodded. Be right back, Discord, behave yourself. She vanished in a flash of light. So... Discord examined his claws. Why couldn't I access Equestria's future until this time? What did you ponies do to the magic? We didn't have any magic. Izzy announced proudly. No magic. Discord frowned. Nope. Izzy replied cheerfully. Oh, but if it makes you feel any better, we did have it, but that was many, many, many moons ago. It just poof, disappeared. And done. Stars announced, and she popped back into existence in front of them. The factory's rigged to blow. I'll set it off when you give me the word, Discord. Wait. Sprout blinked. The Cantor Logic Factory? Onwards with the explosions! Discord had a pirate hat on suddenly and a wooden sword in his paw. Boom! Stars grinned and her horn flashed. B but Sprout protested. My nuclear warheads are inside that factory! You're what? Stars exclaimed, glancing at Sprout. Oh, Celestia, damn it. In the distance, a large explosion could be heard, before the world went white as it shook and trembled. Was it her imagination? Or did Izzy see a flash of purple light before the world went white? When the group came around, they looked at each other weirdly. When did we all just suddenly pass out? Sunny frowned. I don't know. Izzy shrugged. Mommy? Sprout nudged Phyllis. 
Why is the Candlelight Factory steaming crater? Phyllis turned slowly. What? <sighs> Discord lounged on a couch. If that's the future, I ain't looking forward to that. Twilight sighed. They have nukes there? <sighs> Celestia, damn it, I didn't expect them to have invented nukes by that point. How far did we go? A thousand years? Somewhere around there. Discord agreed. Hey, since we're still here, let's do something that turns this world into the alternative universe and create a second timeline for this system. We already erased their memories and you want to do more? Twilight asked incredulously. We're already lucky that I was fast enough to make a dome around the factory so the nukes wouldn't kill everyone! <laughs> Discord shrugged. It's just gonna create a branch off timeline. The main one will be just fine. Twilight sighed before shrugging. Eh, sure. Who do we blow up? Why, the villain, of course! He barely even counts as a villain! Do it anyways. What happened to the factory mommy- Sprout's question was cut off as he suddenly blew up. What in the phony pony full of baloney? I am pleasantly surprised that the author decided to continue his explosive Twilight Saga onto G5. You really just can't get enough of it. Anyways, let's get on to our very spectacular donators. Top donators, TacoCat598, Peter Coltard, J10 Man, Darkseid, and only one thing. Zart630, Raiden, Narwhals, Black Moonheart, Pastel Skies, Austin Rowland, Crazy Killer 557, Stu Hex, Will, Omicron Library, Chris, Michael Taylor Moore, Dospo, Delta Omega, Jack Hedge, Runescythe9852, Madman Stan, Leslie Prickett, Drake Love Dragon, Hunter Norman, Stephen Bingham, Line God 12, Sosara Constantine, Hud Zaza, Confair, and many more amazing people. Thank you all so much for watching this video and live life to the fullest.